Hello there, I am Dean, and yes, welcome to Dean's Brick Show. Just want to say thank you for watching, and if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you can be notified with all my future releases, and please uh, feel free to uh, share this video, and also leave a comment and tell me what you think. All right, well, it's been a couple of weeks uh, since I've done a video. Um, work's been crazy. At, like usual um and i kind of really wasn't feeling great last weekend so i did not uh, get anything done so this week i am going to be uh reviewing uh a, a set from the monkey kid theme and it is uh the spider queen's arachnoid base and it um has 1,170 pieces, set number 80022. And like I said, it's from the Monkey Kid theme. And this is my first set from the Monkey Kid series. Um, comes with six minifigures in, in all. Um, we have uh, the Monkey Kid, the Monkey King, Pixie, Syntax, Spider Queen, and Jaw. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. J-I-A. Um, but this was a great little build. And um, I was very uh, pleased with it. And um, I actually bought another Monkey Kid uh, set, which I will be uh, putting together um, probably next. Um, so there's that. And um, in one of my previous videos, it was the Star Wars helmets, um, which by the way, uh, they just released um, some official pictures of the next wave of, of Star Wars helmets that are coming out. Uh, we're gonna get Darth Vader. Uh, we're gonna get a Scout Trooper. And we're also going to get an Imperial Probe Droid. Um, not a helmet, but nonetheless, it's a large scale. And that thing looks pretty sick. They all look pretty sick. Um, so pretty excited for those. And then there's also some uh, um, other ones that were just announced uh, recently too. It was a, a Carnage uh, helmet or mask or whatever you want to call it. And then the Batman cowl as well. You can pre-order them now and they're going to be released. I think they ship like the mid, mid to late April, if I remember correctly. Um, but I had a comment in, in that video um, about why they're 18 and older. And I, I kind of think they're probably gil, gil, geared uh, more towards um, adult collectors as opposed to kids. Um, because, I mean, after you build this set, I mean, the only thing you can really do with it is just set it up and display it. Um, and that, maybe that's not exciting for, for younger, younger kids or younger fans. Um, you know, they, they want the Lego sets that you can build and then actually, uh, play with where, uh, this, sh you, you can't, I mean, it's just going to sit there and, and whatnot. So I think that's probably why it's more, you know, geared towards 18 and older. And that's why I've said 18 and older, um, on the box. Um, not to say that a younger, uh, fan of Lego, uh, can't get that, you know, somebody who maybe is really into Star Wars might like it and maybe is okay with that, you know, just sitting there and not being able to play with it. But that's my, that's my take on it anyway. So that's what I'm going with. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I don't know. You can Google the answer if you want to, but that's what I'm going with. And also, um, I have three fairly large boxes of Lego uh, sets that my cousin uh, gave me. Um, she was going to get rid of them and she sent me a text and said, hey, I got all of these Lego sets. Do you want them? And I was like, uh, heck yes, please. So I got those last week and I just want to say thank you to my cousin Jenny and her husband Jesse and their three uh, children, um, Elijah, Emery, and Elise. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, I've kind of gone through them and um, I don't have any of the boxes or instruction manuals so it might and they're all kind of a lot of the sets are um, all apart um, some of them are kind of halfway put together so 
I, you know, I'm sure I can go online and find instruction manuals and maybe piece them back together. But if not, you know, I just have a lot of extra um, Lego pieces that I can, you know, build with. So that's pretty exciting. So again, thank you very much. I appreciate it. So with uh, nothing left to do, oh wait, maybe, maybe I'll show you my mock that I'm working, my Le Lego desk right here um, is kind of messy. I got a lot of pieces around because I'm working on my my secret mock. Uh, and again, mock is my own creation. Um, so maybe I'll show you just a couple of little pieces. Now, uh, we got this little light piece right here. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll just go like this. And it's like, whoa what is that and you're like i don't know what it is but then maybe i'll add this you know and then i built this earlier and it's like what it looks like an airplane is it an airplane with uh, moss growing off of it and other wacky things and it's like i i don't know maybe it is maybe it's not i'm not going to tell you what it is i'm going to put this door right here like this okay so now we got a door and then i got this little mini baby prisoner right here and uh, we're going to put him right here. And then I'm going to put this right like that. And it's like, ta-da! Is this my, is this what I'm working on? Maybe. I'm not going to tell you what I'm working on. So, yeah, there's that. Yeah, maybe I'll add some more tree parts. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we're just, oh, it's, it's getting crazy over here. So, enough of that nonsense so let's take a closer look at the spider queen's arachnoid base okay here we are taking a closer look at our spider queen's arachnoid base and here are a couple of our mini figures we have pigsy with a pitchfork ready to do battle and syntax Again, not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but I like how he has a cup of coffee. Like, this guy is busy wreaking havoc all over the land, but he's still drinking caffeine. Good job. And we have a little spider here. Not sure if it's just a giant spider or a robot or whatever it is, but pretty cool. And here we have Ja, and he is scared and doesn't know what to do, so he's just kind of a civilian there so that's kind of fun and then we have a uh, monkey kid in his little uh you know his little cloud flyer or whatever that is um that he's flying in and up here we have monkey king he is attached to a spider web and has handcuffs on him and here we have the spider queen herself and she's very menacing looking, and I just like that minifigure as well. Um, I know I've mentioned this in other posts or other videos, how I really like, you know, evil looking minifigures and, and sets. And, you know, we got the spider here with uh, many eyeballs in front and the two front. Oh, there goes the spider queen. She fell. Let me just put her down here. She's kind of top heavy. She does not like to stand up, so she's just going to lay there. So uh, back up here, we got this little uh, little mechanical um, part where you can move it back and forth and the legs will move. And also, um, this set is actually on wheels, so it rolls, rolls around very well on flat surfaces. Um, I only, fortunately, I have it on my little Lazy Susan right now, so I can't really do much with it. But I really like the, the color color scheme for this set here. We have uh, purples and green and black and gray, you know, kind of dark, you know, spooky Halloween-ish colors, if you will. And we got a lot of, a lot of stickers, a lot of decals on, on both sides of this. Um, and then the back here will open up, and it's kind of a... You know, this is their base part, kind of a hidden little base. Um, and there's a little little platform there. And, you know, just some computer-ish looking components and a little, little prison cell there. Um, you know, where she can capture people and put them, put them in there and lock them up. 
And yeah, so, you know, I wish the maybe the back half was a, a little bit bigger, maybe had a little bit more. But overall, just a, a really cool set and uh, rolls around nicely, like I said, on flat surfaces. Um, you know, you got six awesome minifigures. Um, so this set definitely has a lot of playability. Um, and again, I, I really like the two front legs that just move. Pretty cool. We try to set her back up. Nope. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe. Nope. Okay. Well, just, just, okay. Just lay there. Yeah. So this is, uh, my Spider Queen's Arachnoid Base set 80022. 1,170 pieces. Alrighty, there you have the Spider Queen's Arachnoid Base. Very cool set, and of course, it has lots of playability. Not that I ever really play with all my Lego sets. I just kind of leave them in uh, my various display cabinets um, behind me and over here. Can't really see them all. But uh, one of the reasons why I bought that uh, Spider Queen Arachnoid Base was because it came with uh, a free Lego set. And that was this little tribute right here to Amelia Earhart and her plane, the Lockheed I'm Lockheed Vega 5B. And this is a pretty cool little set. Haven't uh, built it yet, but uh, comes with her plane, obviously, and then Amelia Earhart herself. So I will probably put this together soon. But I really wanted to get that tribute to her. So that is all I have for you today. Just want to say um, thanks for watching. And again, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified and leave a comment and tell me what you think. And feel free to share this video. And remember, it's a big world out there. Break it up. Good night.